One, one impact of COVID that could potentially be seen as positive and that can address the climate emergency too is that people have begun to see the value of smaller communities, towns and villages. People have begun to move out of cities, often to the homes that they were forced to leave for education or, or employment purposes. In dealing with COVID, we have been asked to limit our move, movements and to stay local. COVID is going to be with us for a long time and surely supporting the development of infrastructure and resources in our towns and villages is the obvious way of achieving this. There is an opportunity now to support the, the development of rural communities, to build infrastructure for people to work locally, even if their employer is in Dublin. This includes the provision of community communications infrastructure, such as broadband for those from working from home. But it also requires local community office hubs where people can work in proper offices rather than in cramped housing or at a kitchen table. Proper working conditions must be provided and maintained for those working remotely, and these must not be undermined. People, people being facilitated to work locally would see the reopening of services such as post offices, doctor surgeries, shops, cafes and schools. It would also mean a reduction in travel and present, present opportunities for small-scale, energy-efficient office spaces. But this government has not got the vision for that and has lost any connection with or commitment to the development of rural Ireland. Youth unemployment has been hugely impacted by the COVID pandemic. We were already above the EU average in this area, but numbers have again skyrocketed with young people, and in particular young women, being the most impacted by job losses and the closures due to COVID. Youth unemployment currently stands at around 38 per cent, with remote learning taking place for, ma for many courses and colleges. There are opportunities for young people to stay in their hometown for longer, rather than ha having everything Dublin-centric or fo focused on urban centres. I note that in Minister McGrath's speech yesterday, he announced that there would be a £5 million investment in facilities for digital hubs and broadband connection points across rural Ireland under the Town and Village Renewal Scheme. I welcome this announcement and wonder if the Government has given thought to linking and with the closed pubs or businesses around reimagining themselves as community work share hubs. At a constituency meeting last week, I was informed about initiatives in Seville and Spain where people can book slots at the local pubs, restaurants or cafes for remote working. These premises usually have a significant number of PowerPoints and usually have higher inter and faster internet speeds available than in rural homes. Indeed, they might have actual internet available as well. In this example, it is around €15 Euro to book a table for three hours. And, if you are also and you are also provided with tea and coffee and a light lunch. This could be an, an innovative and an, an efficient way to support closed businesses to reopen safely, support remote working and support our communities as well.